So now we will uh, talk about how to create reports uh, using the model. So the last few videos we talked about Cognos overview, we talked about how to create a model using the framework manager and now we are going to talk about how to create reports through the tools provided by Cognos. So as you see here uh, we have uh, lots of links here. Now this called create professional reports is uh, the the tool for create uh, called Report Studio, which is the main tool for creating reports. Analyze My Business is Analysis Studio, and Query My Data is again a Query Studio, which also helps you to create reports. So let's click on the Query Studio, which is this one. So once you click here, the next thing is the, you have to choose a package. Now, if you remember, in the last video, we published a package and which to make our data model accessible to the uh, reporting tools. So once the it's loading all the packages, um, it's taking a little bit of time, but hopefully it will come soon. Okay, so what we did was uh, when the list of packages came, we used the search feature, which is in the top right, to search for our package test one and then select it from that. So let's select our package. So typically if you have more than one package in your uh, Cognos environment then it will show all the list of packages and you have to select from there. Now, if you want to navigate, you can use the search feature, which uh, I we use this time. So it's coming up. Uh, it's taking a little bit of time. So once the package loads, you would see a dialog box like this, which pretty, pretty much says create a new report from template or open an existing report. Since we are starting fresh, uh, we don't have any report, so we select create a new report. So once you do that, then you will be presented with uh, you know, uh, a set of different report formats. So to get started, let's select the list format, which is pretty uh, the simplest and the straightforward. So we uh, select the list format. Now here, this is a pretty standard uh, report uh, tool. What that means is that it will give you uh, on the right side is some sort of a panel where the, your report would be created and on the left side you'll have your objects which is coming from your model which you created. And remember this model was accessible to this tool using the because you published the package. So now if you go back to the to the model and, and change something to make it available to the uh, tool, you have to republish the package. Now, one thing I have seen in Cognos, when you republish, you pro you are better off closing the report studio and, and reloading it to get the latest changes of the package. Again, it, it's taking time to load. Uh, okay, so it has loaded our package. As you see, here is our uh, different uh, query subjects. So let's create our first report. So you want to create a simple report with uh, you know sales volume and agents. So let's drag maybe the first column let's say um, a sales agents name. So let's put the name. So we drag it here. So this becomes our first column. No. And then um, then maybe uh, it's region. So let's put this one here. Now, sometimes you'll see this message. What that means is that you know this uh, instead of putting the name here on next to quarter name uh, next to this, we you know it by mistake it tried to place underneath. So in that particular case, just to okay and then undo your action by clicking here and now 
what you can do is that you can just double click so if you double click it just comes for now one thing I would like to point out to is as you see here name and name one so I think this is a uh, sort of a mistake on our part we should have renamed our column name uh, to uh, you know the region name instead of name now remember this is uh, we have this sort of column list because we inherited from the database directly and we didn't bother to change it so you may want to change it here um, now you can change the labels here so here you say this is name one instead of name one you can write a region name so this is a label and here you can put region name so here we have region name and then this you can change as agent name or you can just say agent okay now if you want to test with these also you can test but let's put uh, the cell date and cell amount so I think we have to reorder the columns a little bit so let's get rid of one cell day I think we have multiple columns so I'm getting rid of one of them okay and then let's put cell it here okay so again we have uh, the same error so one when you're dragging if you see this line appear that means you know the vertical line appears that means it is doing it's the right way to place it so now if you see cell it let's do the same thing with the cell amount okay so now we have cell it and cell amount again I'm not uh, going into the details of changing each and every column name um, but I think you can get the idea now you can test your reports quickly by running a report here So it's taking some time. Uh, so that when you click on a report opens in a new browser window. So as you see, this is a Cognos default color combination. So here we have our region name, we have our um, cell date and a cell amount. So here we have listed all the each and every sales transaction now for example now if we if you if you put uh, so let's play with that a little bit more so let's go back here now if we remove the cell date so let's remove cell date and let's see what happens so now what will happen Cognos by default would try to add the sales data per agent. See, this line represents an agent's name, a region's name, and a cell amount. So, what it will do is that Cognos will retrieve all the values and then it will group by the agent and will add all the sales amount by the agent. So, that Cognos does internally. So the fact that you don't have the, uh, the sales data here, that means Cognos internally would realize that it would need to group it by agent and the way to do group group while grouping the function it would add if you remember while defining the model we had this aggregate and semi aggregate so it will apply those so for sale amount we have defined aggre aggregate is sum so it will do sum for the agent so let's run the report again so as you see it had group the agent's name uh, and the added it and then it has added uh, the 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 sale amount now one thing probably is the problematic is that we see blanks here and this could be due to uh, 
uh, we have to investigate maybe some of the uh, data doesn't exist uh, typically we want to see some sales agent which has uh, no sales amount okay so let's add uh, some more uh, spices here so we have a simple report uh, showing the agent name and report now in the next video we'll discuss some more um, you know features uh, which you can add to the report